So students, uh, in the in the context of Amazon Web Services, what we have we have hardware, okay, and we have the software, right? And this is combined together, and it affords it provides easy access functionality, and on top of it, we have APIs sitting on them. So we'll talk about APIs, application programming interfaces in this module. And we will briefly mention about SOAP and we will briefly mention about REST also. So let's go into more details. So what is an API? I'll, I will talk about it and then I'll talk about benefits of the web services. Why we have these web services? Uh, what are the applications of these web services? For example, innovation. I will talk about it. And of course, we compare the Amazon Web Services SOAP or REST which is being used by Amazon Web Services right now. So understanding API, what is API? API is a bundle of library functions, okay? And there is an interface or a contract through which the programmers or the software engineers can utilize those libraries of functions, okay? They have a functional interface, they have a format of information, they have operations performed, they have input, and of course they have output also. So they are pretty much kind of self-contained and you can combine those APIs together, okay, which is a collection of libraries and you can generate additional functionality with those APIs, okay. Now today, uh, APIs are beyond libraries. We have APIs, software environment systems, which are running across servers, different servers across the networks and uh, those APIs which run across the servers, across the networks, they are called as web services that is why amazon web services aws so what are the benefits of those uh, web services innovation like like a mashup like you have those different musical instruments and you can combine those instruments and generate some fantastic music some fantastic uh, uh, lyrics also now using those web services for example i can uh, innovate say for example you are driving somewhere and based upon your location, based upon you, you enter your, your uh, the make and brand, the model of your car and other, uh, and, and other numbers also. And based upon it, the, those, you, those API based application tells you that where you can go within the range of 25 kilometers or 25 miles based upon how much fuel you have. That is one. Niche market. You see that's because you see that there are so many uh, data sources which you cannot access because they are very large or you don't have the kind of processing power which you need but with those amazon web services and the cloud you have say google map and using that google map you can uh, trace the location of a bus people are entering the location of the bus and everything is working on the cloud and you will know when at what time at what point the bus will arrive that generates a lot of facility for you. And there are new sources of revenue also. For example, Sears web services and people with different devices, they can use their web services and make sales for Sears. Sears have nothing to lose. They have all to gain. And of course, the people who are selling, they are also to gain also. So what is SOAP? SOAP is Simple Object Access Protocol. It is very comprehensive. It is very flexible. It has a lot of functionality and it has standards for security also, which makes it kind of difficult to learn and to use because of the flexibility. And it is based upon XML and it leverages, utilizes the, the functionality of the XML. Now, there's a PhD student who came up with REST, representational state transfer, which is less comprehensive, which makes less promises, which has less functionality, but it serves the purpose. It's so the purpose now for, for, for example, Amazon Web Services, they started with SOAP, but now REST is of their choice. So you should be aware of SOAP versus REST in the context of Amazon Web Services and about the application programming interface. That is all for this module. Thank you very much.